Well, praise the Lord, everybody. Thank you for tuning in to Cloud Connection. And this is Charlie Champ here with Destiny Encounters. And I want to welcome you tonight to this very special broadcast where we're going to be discussing several prophetic uh, words that are coming to pass, as well as some things that the Lord has been recently speaking to me about. And uh, we're very excited to bring this broadcast to you and if you will share the broadcast tonight let your friends your family those that are connected to you on various social media platforms let them know that we are doing a cloud connection tonight and that God is releasing something fresh for them uh, before we get into a lot of the things that we're going to talk about tonight I just want to say a very special thank you to all of our partners our friends from around the world that have been supporting this ministry. Without your help, there's no way that we could take the gospel to the nations of the earth. And we're so excited about what the Lord is doing in this season, specifically with the major crusade that we're doing in Nairobi, Kenya. And um, I was just this weekend with our director, Darcy, and uh, we are gearing up for one of the most powerful crusades, I believe, that has taken place in Nairobi, Kenya in some time. And we are just believing for such a massive harvest to come in. And uh, we just thank you so much for your prayers, all of your financial support, and um, those that are connected in with Destiny Encounters. We just want to give you a big thank you. I also wanted to say that our book, Mystical Prayer, is out right now for pre-order. 
And so if you go to mysticalprayer.com, it'll take you to a place where you can pre-order our book. We're getting a lot of feedback from the from this particular uh, book that we're releasing. Several people are very, very excited about it. I imagine many of you have already um, you know, bought the book and are just waiting for it to be released. And we can't wait for you to read it. I believe it's going to open up a new dimension of the prophetic for you. I believe it's going to open up another uh, place of prayer and understanding how to operate in the realm of seeing and knowing. And so I hope that it will be a blessing to you. Again, you can order that book on mysticalprayer.com. It will take you right to a place where you can pre-order that book and it will be sent to you on uh, October the 17th. So it's not that far away. Make your uh, plans to get it right now. Also, I wanted to just briefly tell you that this weekend we are doing a very powerful gathering in um, our home state, Tennessee. We're going to be in Murfreesboro, Tennessee, uh, doing Fire in the Southland with my good friend Jeff Jansen for the whole weekend, starting on Thursday night. Uh, we are hearing already that people are coming in from Florida as well as Georgia to be a part of this event. Kentucky, the surrounding um, states are coming to Murfreesboro, Tennessee, and we believe that God is going to pour out something very fresh. I believe that this is America's hour, and we can't take lightly what the Lord is beginning to do even in, these beginning, in this beginning stage. And I feel that as we press into the presence of the Lord, the glory and the Shekinah presence is going to press into us. And we want to see God's glory manifest. And I've been really challenged over the last several months, more than I ever have in our ministry, in my life personally. I've been saved and on fire for over 18 years. And I'm burning more brighter than I ever burned. I mean, I, it, it's something of a, a fresh spark, a fresh uh, infilling that the Holy Spirit is doing. And we know that this is for America. This is uh, for even the nations of the world, all those that are watching around the world and um, those that are able to tune into the broadcast live or rather rebroadcast. We love you so much. We're always praying for you. And I'm making a very... Um, I'm being intentional about connecting more through social media with as many of you as I can. Some of you will see me popping on to your Facebooks, just thanking you for sharing the different broadcasts, the different miracle clips that uh, we release through uh, Facebook and YouTube and, and, and different avenues uh, that we have available to us. And I just want to thank you again. Uh, for sharing what God is doing. The Word is organically spread, and we've always made uh, been intentional about spreading the gospel organically. We've used different sources of social media to help build Destiny Encounters, and um, we're very excited about what God is doing. We know that you get touched by the miracle clips because we hear feedback from you. We know broadcasts like this touch you because we get your testimonies, we get different um, feedback from you, whether it's through email or private message or, or, or different avenues. And we thank you so much for sending in your testimonies, sending in your prayer requests, sending in all these different forms of, of um, needs and, 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 and you know feedback that you give to us is, is amazing. I also want to let you know, that we are going to do a Destiny Encounters Prayer Shield. We are going to do another one of those. It will be at least 12 hours of solid prayer. Now, the avenue of Facebook only allows four hour uh, increments to go live. So we're, we'll probably do four hours and then we'll go off just like we did in the past and just saturate, soak, uh, your prayer needs, your prayer requests, um, the things that God is wanting to see fulfilled in your life in prayer during that time. 
Oh, I will be releasing, our staff will release a flyer for that and we'll let you know when that is coming up. But I want you to go ahead and send in your prayer requests now. Don't wait until the last day or when you see the flyer. Constantly we're getting prayer requests in from different places in the world. And um, we're grateful for everything that God is doing, the testimonies that we're receiving and the things that the Lord is uh, releasing, because there is no distance in the realm of the Spirit. So we can connect right here tonight, right here, and God uh, can meet your need. And so I just wanted to thank you for that and what um, telling you, tell you to get ready to be a part of the Destiny Encounters Prayer Shield. Now... Tonight, I want to deal with something that the Lord recently spoke to me about and uh, prophesy into some things that I believe are going to come to pass that we need to begin to intercede, begin to pray about. So, we're going to touch on several different things tonight, but... Before we get into the primary prophetic word that I want to release, I want to talk about something that just several, actually several different prophetic words that we need to hold in our hearts and um, begin to pray about. One of them was prophesied several years ago, uh, back in 2016. In 2016, um, the Lord, while I was in Ireland, I was ministering in Ireland, and had a very interesting... It was... uh, To be exact, I released it on November the 21st, 2016. It was an overwhelming burden that came upon me for the nation of Italy as well as for the Catholic Church. And several of you have been following the prophetic words for years now. So you will remember this particular prophetic word. But what the Lord had shown me was that there was going to be uh, two shakings that were going to come out of Italy. One was going to be a natural earthquake that was going to shake the ground. The second one was going to be a scandal that was going to come out of the Catholic Church. And on November the 21st, 2016, I said, I have a real burden for in my heart today for the nation of Italy. I have seen a shaking of the ground, an earthquake coming, and a scandal coming out of the Vatican in Rome uh, that will shake the church. And um, we released that word, and many of you have been following that prophetic word for nearly two years. It's on our website, destinyencounters.com. But we are just beginning right now to see some of the things, the, 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 the scandal uh, beginning to break within the last year to a year and a half. This being this uh, sexual pedophilia scandal that is breaking worldwide within the Catholic Church, across South America, as well as uh, what recently took place in the state of uh, Pennsylvania. There is um, a, there has been a underbelly of demonic infiltration, if you will say, into uh, the Catholic Church, and God is beginning to expose that. So we need, to be, we need to be prayerful as God is removing uh, the darkness, if you, the, the, this, the, the demonic uh, infiltration uh, into the Catholic Church. Begin to pray and intercede for the Catholics. Many of you know already that in the month of August of next year, I will be returning to Italy. I will be ministering in Vatican City again, as well as I'll be going to Sicily. And so uh, we have 
a prophetic mandate for the nation of Italy as well as the Catholic Church. I believe that the Lord is going to release His presence, His Spirit upon the Catholic Church again. I believe that the Lord wants to release the Holy Spirit, another renewal into the Catholic Church. And my personal uh, dealings with many that are in that structure, um, it, it, they're hungry for the Holy Spirit. Some of you have heard what took place the last time I was in Italy. Miracles, uh, the supernatural, people receiving baptisms in the Holy Spirit right in Vatican City when I was ministering there. And the Lord has opened us some very special doors. I can't get into everything, but God is touching, God is cleaning, and God is purifying the Catholic Church right now. And I know that some people have their viewpoint about the Catholic Church and what they, their eschatology. But I just want to say that the Lord is into redemption. He's into restoration. And I believe that the Lord in this hour is going to touch different denominations, different uh, ways of, uh, and different belief systems within the church. And we need to get ready for God to touch across the board people that may not even necessarily agree with us theologically. You know, God didn't call me personally to be a theologian. The Lord called me as a prophet to the nations. And so I don't have to try to correct every point of doctrine within, you know, every denomination and every system. And I've learned over the years that it's better to touch and agree on the, uh, on the things that we have in common than to point our finger and try to correct everything that we see wrong within various denominations. And as a result of that, we've begun, personally, Destiny Encounters, myself, Brindley, we've had doors open to us into various different denominations that had I been so harsh and so narrow-minded in every single point of doctrine and belief system as I have grown up in the Pentecostal church, Assembly of God, and, and that kind of structure, I would have never been able to penetrate into places like the Methodist church, the Presbyterian church, uh, the Church of England, I mean, the, church, the, uh, the Catholic Church, and see the Holy Spirit break in. And I personally just feel probably that that's a part of my calling, that the Lord wants me to go into these areas. And so we need to begin to hold in our heart the, the Catholic Church, because I believe that the Lord is exposing and revealing what has been hidden in that denomination to bring a fresh awakening. And I've met many Catholics around the world that are just full of the presence of the Lord. They love Jesus with all their heart. They speak in tongues. And uh, they, they're on fire for the Lord. So we need to pray for them. And you can look at the other prophetic word that I had concerning Pope Francis, that's on our website. I don't want to get into all of that right now. But I did want to touch on that particular scandal because it's breaking. It's all over the news. Been in the news. But this latest one from Pennsylvania um, is, is really, really shocking. In fact, the Pope uh, just released a statement. And um, I, I believe it. you can find it on Fox, CNN. Just you know, just broken and asking for forgiveness for the things that have been taking place. So keep them in prayer. The second thing that I wanted to mention was this word that I released about bioterror. Um, bioterror, and that is also on our website. I can pull it up here to give you the exact date that it, that it was released so that you can look at that 
later. That was released on June the 7th and uh, 2018. And it is all about some things that I had seen. Excuse me. Not June, June the 7th. May 29th. And that word is called the mantle of abundant life coming. And this is a word that you really need to look over. Many of you that are following Destiny Encounters, you need to go and look at that word. You need to begin to pray about that word. Because recently, there was an article that was released that was placed, I believe... If you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm just scrolling to find the articles because I want to make sure that we have all of this, these things documented because it's important. It's important to document prophetic words so that we are not just speaking stuff and not being accountable for what we say. Every word that is prophesied through this ministry I am held accountable to. And so it's my uh, responsibility to properly steward those words. So it's really, really important that we look and see the prophetic fulfillment of the words as they're coming to pass, as well as pray through them as they're released. Because every word, I've noticed that the Lord gives me several different words. And when He gives them to me, He wants me to steward them properly until they come to pass. That's why you'll see uh, in a season, I will release a series of prophetic words. And as I release those series of prophetic words, then the Lord wants, will, will have me to walk those prophetic words out. And then even more will be added to those prophetic words. Uh, an example would be this, this word concerning uh, the Catholic Church. I released that two years ago and then released recently um, a word concerning Pope Francis. But uh, on August the 5th, 2018, on the Daily Mail, they released an um, article saying ISIS propaganda calls for biological terror attacks on the West and predicts San Francisco under a toxic, toxic cloud. Now, we released that on Facebook. That was on um, August the 7th. We put that up. The word was released on May 29th. Now, it's, it's very interesting that this article talks particularly about San Francisco. Because if you remember, I want to get the dates on everything. I released a word concerning San Francisco in particular. And the Lord had me prophesy into San Francisco. And we released that word stating that nothing, no terrorist attack would touch the city of San Francisco. That the Lord was protecting San Francisco. And that was released on a prayer shield on April the 29th, 2017. That is also on YouTube. The video is on YouTube where I talk about what the Lord had shown me concerning San Francisco and even what took place the very next day in San Francisco as I was in the city. Uh, a lot of you guys, I don't have time to go into it. My plane was... Uh, delayed. I didn't get my flight into Reading. And so I had to spend the night in San Francisco. The Lord released this word. And so we need to be praying concerning this bioterror. Because we can't take lightly 
any prophetic word that the Lord is saying. We need to begin to steward it properly. But the, but the Daily Mail released this on August the 7th, stating that uh, ISIS was releasing propaganda calling for biological terror attacks on the West, and specifically San Francisco. And um, all of that has been documented. So we need to begin to pray for the nation of America. Go back, look at that bioterror word. It is, it is really interesting the way that the Lord um, began to speak to me concerning that. Now, lastly, before we get into the direct word that I want to release, um, I want us to begin to continue to pray for the nation of Iran. The nation of Iran. On March the 24th, 2018, the Lord released a word, prophetic word, concerning Egypt and Iran. I want to primarily draw into the word on Iran. And some of you will remember, again, a progress, there's a progression in, the prof- in this prophecy because while I was in Moravian Falls, um, I believe it was last year. There's so much that we can we can get into here um, prophetically, and trying to remember the exact dates. You know, we want to make sure that we get these again all um, on record. They're all listed. Everything is listed on our website. So um, it's important. That you go there, you, you look at those prophecies, you look at those prophetic words, because um, there are things that are in there that have been prophesied, and then, obviously, they're released again fresh. Now, um, we prophesied on February 7, 2017, that the United States was going to Uh, move their embassy uh, in Jerusalem. Along with that, again, in the month of May, we prophesied again concerning the embassy moving and on May the 19th to be exact, we prophesied the re-election of Hussein Rouhani, the president of Iran. And we spoke about several different things that were going to take place concerning the nation of Iran. It has both been documented um, through writing as well as in May when I was in Moravian Falls, there is an audio recording of that word. Now, on March 24th, 2018, um, I'm going to read this because I believe that it's something that we really need to begin to pray into. Uh, again, let me tell you the date, March 24th, 2018. Again, I heard the voice of the Lord say, Iran, your deal is done. The foreign favors have come to an end. You have dealt harshly against my people Israel. You have sought their destruction and demise. I have seen your plan to tear Israel apart and wipe them from the face of the earth. Your heart of hate has forced my hand against you and, agree, and your agreement with America will be torn in two. Now you will deal with me in the days to come. Now when we're speaking about Iran, I want to make this very clear. I, I love the Iranian people. What I am talking about is a hierarchical system that is bringing terror upon others. I believe if you've seen my recent prophetic word concerning Iran, the Lord spoke to me and said that there's going to be a major revival that is going to spring out of Iran. And... There is a grace that is coming on the people of Iran for revival, for an outpouring of the Holy Spirit. So I don't want anybody that's watching this to misunderstand what I'm speaking about. Because when I'm speaking about 
uh, the Lord dealing with the nation of Iran, I am talking about a system and I am speaking about powers and princes that are infiltrating the minds of leadership and, and bringing destruction and demise upon others through terroristic acts. And God will deal with leaders and dictators because the Bible says that He raises up kings and He sets down kings. So when we're talking about this, we're discussing dealing with the terroristic system, the oppression in the nation. And the Lord is going to touch Iran with His presence. The Iranian people are going to be touched by the glory of God. The word we released is going to come to pass. So, I, I, I just want to put that out there for you. And it says, Behold, I will break the bow of Iran, the foremost parts uh, uh of your might will be destroyed for I have caused you to be dismayed before your enemies before those who seek your life I will bring disaster upon you I will send the sword of my word it will strike your heart yes the heart of Tyran I will set my throne in your kingdom and will destroy from there the king and the princes I will bring back the captivities, the captives, the captivity of the nation. Those who gather with me in secret to pray are more than those that meet with you in the open. I have heard the cry of my people coming from this land for freedom. I will cause my word to be heard in the heart of the nation. Soon some of you trust, trust will turn, excuse me. I have caused my word to be heard in the heart of the nation, and soon some will trust and turn to me and bow their knee. The destruction I will bring will not be by might. Listen to me. The destruction that I bring will not be by might. It will not be by power, but it will be by my spirit. My, my hand will sweep across the nation. And many will be saved in one single day. There is a rumbling that is coming that will shake the ground. You will feel its force. It will be a sign of what will come in the shaking of your government, the shaking of your economy, the shaking of your religion. I will shake free every hand and the feet from the shackles that hold them. And they will walk free. Yes, they will march in the streets. I will bring the four winds from the four corners of heaven. And will shatter deception and shatter your lies by these winds. Get ready, for it will begin. Dry bones will come to life. Even the bones of my prophet Daniel, who is buried in your country, will shake as a sign that my people in the nation will awaken. I want this to sink in for those that are watching. If you're just tuning in, you should share this broadcast, and we thank you for sharing it. This is a very detailed word concerning the nation of Iran. And we need to systematically look at this word because the Lord is speaking right now. And if you're looking and seeing what's happening in the economy of Iran, this word was prophesied in March 2014. Just now, this word is starting to take place. This was prophesied before the agreement was ever torn up. This, this prophetic word is coming to pass right now.
I believe that the Lord is going to release revival. He is going to release restoration. And He is going to release redemption in the nation of Iran. And we need to begin to pray with all of our heart that God begins to turn. The nation begins to turn. Even the leadership, those that are in high power in that nation, the Lord says it's going, they're going to bow their knee to Jesus. They're going to bow, excuse me, they're going to bow their knee to the Lord. And I believe that the Lord is working. The Lord is doing things in that country. I saw a rumbling of revival, an underground movement of believers that are going to come out of darkness and they're going to be released into freedom. I saw a revival taking place in the country. I saw a revival being pumped out of the nation. It, it, it's going to be a powerful, powerful time for the nation of Iran. Freedom is coming. There's freedom that's coming. And the oppression is going to be broken. But we need to keep uh, them in prayer. And I believe with every prophetic word, we need to begin to steward it properly to see it come to pass. And I believe that right now the Lord is dealing with the government of Iran. I believe that the Lord is dealing with this. I want to be very careful with my language. But I want to say that the Lord is dealing with the Ayatollah of the nation of Iran. And the Lord wants to see the power and the principality that is working over that nation to be broken. And I, I'm, I'm going to go into what I primarily want to talk about, but I want to say this. Several years ago, uh, I believe it was probably 2014, I was in the nation of Kuwait. And we were in a special uh, meeting with intercessors. And the Lord took me into um, the nation of Iraq. I saw a terrorist group coming out of the nation of Iraq. I, I saw uh, the Prince of Persia, which I described uh, as being this lion-looking creature. Very sinister, very demonic that was resting over the nation of Iraq. And I saw um, what, we, what I now understand was ISIS. And I saw the terroristic, um, this infrastructure of terrorism that would spring into Iraq as well as go into Syria. But I saw that that, that spirit would shift in a season and it would manifest and move into Iran. And this is when I first saw uh, this thing concerning the shaking of Daniel's bones. And I need to be very careful because that intercessor, I mean, people from Kuwait that were there during that time remember that particular meeting. And, the, and the, even we had, we had people that came into the meeting from the cloud of witnesses. It was one of the most powerful gatherings, uh, uh, intercessory gatherings that I, I, I've been a part of. And I want to be careful about everything that I say because I, some will watch this and they'll, they won't understand the cloud of witnesses. They'll, they'll make a judgment on that stuff. So I don't want to even cast pearls before swine. Like, you know, I just want to tell you that the power of ISIS has been broken and that spirit has been shifted. And we saw this all, all those years back before ISIS ever came, before it was ISIS was ever. This was years ago, years and years ago. Um, we saw that, but then we saw the season was shift and, and, and everything. So what I want to get into tonight is a word that the Lord gave me concerning American captives going free. 
American captives going free. I want to read the word and then I want to get into more detail concerning it. But on August the 14th, um, I was taken a very powerful encounter where I saw many United States citizens that were being held captive by foreign nations suddenly set free and sent home. The Lord spoke to me, son, this is the time where many will go free from captivity. It will be seen on every TV from sea to shining sea. Those who have been held in chains will break free and receive liberty. Tell the families of those who have been lost and imprisoned for years to get ready for their return. The weeping endured for a night, but joy is breaking through in the dawn of the morning. My redeeming I am redeeming the land of liberty and releasing the brave to break every chain. For I have released this president, President Trump, and I have raised him up in righteousness, and I will direct all his ways. He will build this nation once again and will let go my captives being held in foreign countries, not for price, nor reward. I have not forgotten your sons, your daughters, your husbands. My hand is keeping them in the midst of gross darkness, and I am rising upon them. My redeeming glory will be seen upon them, and they will be free. I will do the unprecedented, the unexpected, the unbelievable in the, un unbelievable in the coming days. America, your captives will be free. I will bring them from the nations and gather them from the countries where they have been held captive. With a mighty hand and an outstretched arm, I will release them from prison. Do not be afraid, for I am with you. I will bring your children from the east and gather them from the west. I will say to the north, give them up, and to the south, do not hold them back. Bring my sons from afar and my daughters from the ends of the earth. They will surely come. The Lord spoke to me and said that this is a season, this is an hour. The next several years, we are going to begin to see people, U.S. citizens, that have been held captive by hostile regimes going free. In fact, again, the Lord said, watch and see as hostile nations give up American captives. It will be a sign of the Spirit of the Lord returning to America to set the captives free. Now, if you're watching this and you're living in another nation, you can take this for your nation as well. That God will set your captives free. But the Lord specifically spoke to me and said, America needs to get ready for captives that have been held by hostile nations. They need to get ready for them to return home. Acts chapter 5 verse 19 says, The angel of the Lord by night opened the prison doors and brought them forth. This was a scripture that the Lord spoke to me. And said, the angel of the Lord is coming to open up the prison doors. Those that are held captive in foreign nations will go free. And it will be a sign, a sign of the Spirit of the Lord returning to America. And the Lord spoke to me and said, the tree of the field, speaking of America, will yield its fruit and the earth will yield its increase. And America will be secure on their land. Then they will know that I am the Lord. And I have broken the bars of their yoke and have delivered them from the hand of those who have enslaved them. We need to get ready. I saw this so vividly that the Lord is going to begin to release men and women that have been held captive. Hostile uh, dictatorships in different nations that have held 
many in captivity are going to set them free. And it will be a sign to the United States. It will be a sign to us that the Lord is releasing the Spirit of the Lord to set our children free, our sons and daughters free, our husbands, our wives, our cities free. And the Lord spoke to me and said, Isaiah 61, if you have your Bible, I want you to turn to Isaiah 61. I feel, I feel the presence of the Lord so strongly upon this. And, I, and many of you know I released the word uh, just this last Friday. Some of you saw that brief, just three to five minute word that I released to America. But I wanted to get into more detail tonight because we need to begin to pray. Because the Lord is doing this as a sign of what He is going to do in the United States. I believe that the greatest outpouring of the Holy Spirit that we have ever seen is coming. It's coming upon the shores of America. It's coming to this nation again. God is going to pour His presence out from sea to shining sea. He is going to pour out His glory like we have never seen before. We won't be able to look at the first and second great awakening as patterns for what he's going to do in this hour. This awakening will be so supernatural, the Lord told me. He said it will come in such force that it will break the chains. It will, it will remove the iron bars and the resistance that has rested over this country. And there will be revival and outpouring that will manifest in different parts of this country, different regions, different cities, even the inner cities of America will be shaken with revival. The Holy Spirit is going to pour out His presence. I, I, there is going to be a holy disruptance take place in this country. The Lord is going to release evangelists, revivalists, intercessors, supernatural glory carriers, and they're going to go into cities and see them shaken. And there will be different places across the United States. Man, I feel the presence of the Lord right now. And I'm telling you, the Lord is going to touch specifically the inner cities of America. And we're going to see such revival, such outbreak of the presence of God, that there will be transformation. And this is one of the words that the Lord has been speaking to me about, is transformation. And we're going to begin to see transformation of cities. The Lord said that Isaiah 61... If you have your Bible, Isaiah 61, I want to read it because the Spirit of the Lord is returning to America. And there is going to be an interfacing between heaven and earth. And the Spirit of the Lord is going to come because the Lord has anointed His body. The Bible says in Isaiah 61, it says, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. But the Lord spoke to me and said, It's going to be upon them. Who's them? The army of the Lord. Because the Lord has anointed His body to preach good tidings to the poor. He has sent the body of Christ to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, the opening of the prison to those who who are bound to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. And the Lord spoke to me and said that America is coming into a jubilee. They're coming into a jubilee where the prison doors are going to come open and the captives are going to go free. This is very, uh, this is one of the most historic, powerful times in American history, the one we're living in right now, where the Spirit of God is going to come like we've never seen him before. Drug addicts, people that are bound uh, by oppression, 
depression, anxiety, stress, demonic interference in their mind, demon possession in their spirit are going to be set free by the Holy Ghost. I'm telling your loved ones, your family members, your sons, your daughters, your husbands, your wives, your relatives are going to be touched by the presence of the Lord. And we need to begin to pray into what the Lord is speaking about the captives that are being held by hostile nations going free. Because this is going to be the sign to us that the Spirit of the Lord is returning into America and that there is great grace and there is a mega release of miracles for America again. And I'm telling you, the Spirit of God is going to sweep from sea to shining sea. From coast to coast, we are going to see the Spirit of God come and hang low and touch the ground, touch the people, touch this country like no other time in history. I'm excited. I, I am praying into this word when the Lord gave it to me. I started to see just the shackles being broken, demonic spirits that have held many captive in this nation going free. Salvations and stadiums are going to be filled with non-believers receiving Jesus again. I believe that the Lord is raising up revivalists. He is raising up evangelists. He is raising up prophets. He is raising up intercessors in this hour. And they're going to begin to go forth and see an impact in America. There are going to be cities that are going to come under the presence of God. The social uh, fabric of this country is going to be changed. It's going to begin to look like heaven on earth. There's going to be a radical transformation coming. A radical, what the Lord spoke to me was a radical grassroots movement that would go from the darkest places, the underbelly of this country, all the way to the highest places uh, of wealth and prestige. And God is going to begin to expose and remove, restore and revive, and release His glory in various places in society. And we need to begin to pray and get ready for this. My spirit is burning for outpouring, revival, souls coming to Jesus, incredible miracles happening in stadiums as we worship the King, on the street corners as we lead people to Jesus. We're living in an hour where we need to set ourselves on fire so that people can come and watch us burn. God is releasing strategies right now. He is releasing blueprints out of heaven. And the Lord spoke to me out of Acts. If you have your Bible, and then I want to pray for you today. The Holy Spirit will touch you right in your home, wherever you're watching from tonight, that the Holy Spirit would come, touch you, and you would never be the same again. Man, I, I, Lord, we just thank you for all that you're doing in this country, in the nations of the earth. Acts 17, Acts chapter 2, verse 17, And it shall come to pass in the last day, says God, that I will pour out my Spirit on all flesh. That means God wants to touch everyone. God wants to touch everyone. Every one of you that's watching right now. God wants to pour out His Spirit. And I, be I believe it's not just a one-time outpouring, but I think it's a continual renewal and restoration. And, you know, there's a mystery in fire. There is a mystery concerning the fire of God when it is poured out. You cannot contain fire. You can't try to tame fire. The Holy Spirit is an unconsuming fire. It is, it cannot be quenched. It cannot be 
you know, boxed in. It is uh, an all-consuming fire that is released. All-consuming that has no mixture. There's no, there's no mix. It's not just a little renewal and a little of what we want. No, it's all or nothing. He is either all-consuming or he is not present at all. And I'm telling you, the fire that the Lord is releasing in this hour is all-consuming. And he will pour out his spirit on all flesh. Your sons and daughters will prophesy. Your young men will see visions. Your old men will dream dreams. Your maidservants and on your... On your uh, on your maid servants and on my my uh, man servants I will pour out my spirit in those days and they shall prophesy I will show wonders in the heavens above this is where I, this is what I wanted to touch on as we prophesy as we dream as we have visions as we come into corporate unity concerning what God is saying as we begin to dream dreams have visions prophesy the Lord says as we prophesy, He is going to show wonders. So there is a place where we speak and God performs. And we need to get out of a place of the spirit of fear. If fear tries to grip us, but faith is trying to come upon us, we need to rebuke the spirit of fear, release the spirit of faith, and ask God to consume us with His all-consuming fire so that we can begin to release the Word of Heaven on the earth. We are living in exciting times. I feel that there is a place of posturing ourselves to receive the fresh portion of the Spirit of God in this hour. We can't try to tame the Holy Ghost in fire. We can't try to tone down the manifestations of the anointing. We need to begin to move into a place where we say, Holy Spirit, come, touch me, refresh me, fill me, burn in me, release your glory in me. Be a fire, as Zechariah says, around about me and a glory in the midst of me. I don't want to fake it until I make it. I don't want to try to come up with another snazzy, cliche uh, sermon to that, that brings, uh, stimulates the mind but doesn't pierce the heart. I'm telling you, the Lord is releasing fresh unction to burn with passion and fire, to release the word of the Lord and, and to d demonstrate the gospel of Jesus Christ in this hour. And it's time for us to begin to take off the, the uh, status quo and take off the, the place of uh, comfortability and begin to Put ourselves in the fire, right in the midst of the burning fire, and say, I'm no longer going to be politically correct. I'm going to preach the gospel. I'm no longer going to shy away from specific words that the Lord is releasing prophetically for nations, but I'm going to begin to decree. I'm going to begin to demonstrate. I'm going to begin to release dominion on the earth and let the Holy Spirit begin to bear fruit in my life because I want to be connected to that vine because that's where the fruit is produced and that's where the release comes from. We can't be a vine or a branch that is separated from the vine and expect to see transformation in nations. We have to be wholly dependent upon the Holy Spirit and say, Lord, come with your fire, with your power, with your glory. I'm hungry for you. I want your glory. I want your fire. I want your power. I want your presence. Now I want to pray for you tonight that the Holy Spirit would come and He would touch you fresh. And I want us to begin to contend together for several of these prophetic words because I know this is what the Lord wants to release. 
And we need to begin to celebrate. We need to begin to celebrate what God is doing. So many times, and I just want to say this tonight. I just want to put this out here and you take it to prayer. So many times we focus on when people are, are negatively coming against somebody else, when they are condemning, when they're trying to bring correction to somebody on social media, that they have no, um, they have no uh, interaction with, no relationship with. I'm telling you, we need to get away from this. I, I, I don't even look at, read, respond to people that are negative, that come, you know, well, I just don't believe that this person was healed in your meeting, although I see the miracle within a video, the, they're faking. You know, I don't even answer that stuff. I just delete the comments, and that's what you should do as well. You should get away from the negativity and get to a place of positivity and start and we just need to start celebrating what God is doing. We need to start we need to start putting our faith in what God is doing, celebrating each other when God is breaking us through into new places and God is doing things with other individuals. We need to begin to celebrate it. We need to begin to say, I, you got your breakthrough, I'm believing God for my breakthrough. Let's celebrate together what God is doing in your life because I know what He's doing in your life. He wants to do in my so much negativity. We need to begin to create a culture uh, uh, that, that celebrates the supernatural. L leave it, leave all the other stuff to the heresy hunters, the, 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 the people that don't even understand the move of the Holy Ghost. Let them do whatever they want to do. We're not, I'm not answering a single one of them, and you shouldn't either. We need to begin to lock into what the presence of God is saying for our generation right now. We are on this earth for this moment in human history, God put us here. He could have put us any time in, 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 in the culminate, in the, in, in the successive periods of human history. But He said we were to be here in this particular hour to release His presence. God has a mission. He has, a, he has, he has placed us here to release His presence on the earth. We have been sent. We have been sent by heaven to release the word of the Lord on the earth. And we don't have time to stop and answer the critics. We don't have time to stop and play games anymore because I believe that America is going to be wakened. It's going to be shaken. The news organizations are going to hear what God is doing. They're, they're always going to criticize because the world does not understand the things of the Spirit. In fact, the, Jesus said it Himself. He said it in the Gospel of John. He said that the world cannot receive the Spirit that I'm giving to you. He said, I'm sending the Holy Spirit, the Spirit whom the world cannot receive. He says it right in the Scripture. So why do we expect people that are in the world that have an unrenewed Christians that have unrenewed minds, even Pharisees and people that have been indoctrinated with doctrines of devils, to ever understand the prophetic, signs and wonders, manifestations, miracles, salvation, they have no clue. That's where the conviction of the Holy Spirit comes in, and the word of the Lord goes forth, and as the word of the Lord goes forth. They can either receive it or reject it, but the Holy Spirit is there to convict the heart. Many of the people that, that dispute, just go crazy on the internet are convicted in their own heart for what they're doing for the sin that they're living in. And we shouldn't take our time to even, even respond or even try to come in and defend what God is saying. We need to just carry on with what God is doing because the Lord is going to back up with magnificent fruit everything that He has commanded. What God 
has commanded and commissioned, He will cause to come to pass. All you have to do is watch and see. All you have to do is taste and see that the Lord is good. And we're going to see hundreds of thousands of people come to know Jesus Christ. Forget about the rejections. Forget about the people that don't understand. Go and focus on the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And let's begin to pray forth what God is saying for our nation in this hour. Let's not get hung up on what the news is saying negatively about you know the government or, or whatever. Let's begin to focus on and begin to decree and declare the word of the Lord over America because I'm telling you, we can't even rely just on, a, on the government to see America awakened and shaken. No, it's going to come through the lips of sons and daughters, prophets and preachers across this nation that are going to cast Catch a hold of the fire of the Lord and say, in this generation, I'm going to be a burning one. In this hour, I'm going to carry the gospel of Jesus Christ. I'm going to get more faith to go after the miracles, to go after the souls, to go after the glory of heaven. And I'm telling you, watching me, and you're a, you're a minister, you're a preacher, let the presence of God come upon you tonight in the name of Jesus. Father, right now, I ask you to touch Every single person that's watching this broadcast, let your glory come upon them. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Friend, I love you so much. Please share the broadcast. Let people know what God is doing, what He's saying. This is the hour for the greatest outpouring that heaven has ever released. God bless you. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.